Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Here a little bit late, but here to talk about the final two uh, <laughs> summer servants for Summer 7, which is uh, Skahawk Scotty Ruler and Wuzatan Caster. So that's going to be today's video. Thank you very much for watching, if you do. If you end up liking the video, you can leave a like. Subscribe to me if you want some more stuff featuring me. And you can comment down below and tell me about this one. This is a very, now that we have all the units available, you can tell me specifically which ones you're going for, uh, for when it's coming. If you're playing NA in two years, if you're on JP, I sure wish you the best on pulling any of these. <laughs> they kind of came out of nowhere, but the best of luck to you. I can tell you right now, I'm probably, my main priority is going to be Ibuki, and I have to figure out how to specific, I need to figure out a lot of stuff when it comes to pity. And I have to start picking and choosing what units to actually guarantee pity and the others I have to leave to the whims of chance. Because there's just too many units being released at any given time to actually plan them out thoroughly. But yeah, let's go. So, we'll start with the four. Wu Zatan. Here she is. In her more adult form, similar to Lady Avalon, this is a completely new unit because the one we have is a child compared to this one. Much more adult. Uh, her active skill, well, first of all, her kit, which is one quick, two arts, two buster, five hits quick, three hits arts, two hits buster, five hits extra. Her active skills are Charisma of the Inner Palace, Summer EX, increases party's attack for three turns, increases the party's buster performance for three turns, increases party's NP generation rate for three turns. 15% uh, attack, 15% buster, 15%, 20% uh, MP rate. MP rate's really nice, especially to the party. It's a little weird to have it combined with Buster of all things. Funny enough, if she had kept her quick things, uh, she would probably be a very solid quick support. Um, but I guess they changed her to be a different kind of support for this version. Second skill, the Wu's Morning Lady A. Reduces all enemies' NP gauge by 1. Increases party damage against undead enemies for 3 turns. Charges party's NP gauge versus undead. It's 30% and NP cooldown is 20%. Not NP cooldown, but NP gain is 20%. Third skill, Empress Tau RCX. Stuns all undead enemies for 1 turn. Recovers party's HP. Removes party debuffs. 3000. Alright. Passive skills, Territory Creation A, Item Construction A, Ambition for Imperial Ascension EX, Grant Self Mental Debuff Immunities. For Pen Skill, the third one is an Anti-Foreigner Attack Damage Aptitude. Uh, her Noble Phantasm is a Buster, Rank B, 5 hits, Anti-Army, inflicts the Undead trait for 3 turns to all enemies, activates first, deals damage to them. Deals 150% extra damage against enemies with the man attribute and reduce their defense by 20% for 3 turns. 30% uh, 300% damage at MP1 and if you have her 5 it's 500%. Increase the MP damage for 1 turn is 10% at overcharge 1 and at the final overcharge it is 30%. So, very interesting unit. Um, we don't have a lot of attack focused. I think I usually say this all the time every time we get anything attack focused. But it is always kind of nice to have one. Even if this one is a very weird one with Buster, I really feel like she would have been better if she was quick or even arts because of the NP generation. It doesn't really go very well with Buster, even if they have two arts cards. It's a little bit weird, but maybe now with the new system in Japan where it's a little bit more focused on... They actually have a benefit for going arts, Buster, and quick in a chain, so maybe that will help a little bit with that, but for the most part... Hmm, kind of weird, weirdly built kits. The fun, the one thing I will say is that if there's ever a challenge quest where you have to fight a lot of undead enemies, she's probably going to be very good for that. Um, this ability here where it removes party debuffs and uh, removes party HP can be very good in a lot of challenge quests. I can say that from someone who has uh, Medea Lily, that that ability of hers is, comes in very clutch for a lot of specific challenge quests. Um... Other than that, it's kind of like a, yeah, alright. She looks very nice, I can say from her ascensions, is stage 1. I like 2. I think I, funny enough, like 2 the most. And I think it's probably because of um, dark, dark Stalkers is the reason why. Uh, but it looks very nice. Very cool. And that's the unit. So let's move on to the main showcase here. Which is uh, Scotty. Ruler form. So... 
Hmm, where to go with this one? All right, first off, of course, she is a ruler, five star, two quick, one arts, two buster, four hits quick, three hits the arts, four hits buster, five hits extra. Active skill, Primal Ruin, Midsummer, increases one ally's quick performance for three turns, 50%, and Buster crit damage is 100% up. And that one is... Is it also for three turns? This doesn't actually say here. Increase one ally's quick performance for three turns. I guess, I'll assume it's also three turns. That's weird. Why, why did it glitch out? Increase one ally's quick performance for three turns. Increase their critical damage on Buster cards specifically for three turns. Specifically just Buster cards. Second skill. Midsummer Ice Cream C increases party's attack for three turns. Increases party's quick performance for three turns. Increases party's buster performance for three turns. Gain crit stars every turn for three turns. Attack is 20%. Quick is 20, 15%. Buster up is 15%. Star regen is 15. Pretty good. Dreaming in the late summer night A+, plus, charges one alley's MP gauge, MP gauge, increases their crit star absorption of buster cards for one turn, gain crit stars, 15 crit stars, bu buster absorption is 500% and 50% NP. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll get into it at the end. Magic resistance EX, increase on debuff resistance by 25%, territory creation A, increases own arts performance by 10%. Goddess Essence A increases own damage by 250, increases own debuff resistance by 25%. Her pen skill for the third one is uh, increased attack against casters. Noble Phantasm is a quick, deals damage to all enemies, 6 hits, um, reduces their MP gauge by 1, increases 600% uh, damage at level 1 and 1000 at level 5, and it's a AoE attack. Increases own MP damage on the Water Slide Battlefield for 1 turn and deals extra damage against the Lawful Alignment. 150% up against Lawfuls, and the Water Slide damage is 10% at Overcharge 1, and 30% Overcharge at 200% for later if you get it all the way to 5. Okay, so she is a quick support. Um, when she first kind of came out, I was talking to my brother about this. I was actually kind of super disappointed in this, because she just kind of seems like Scotty, but better. But if you just... Let me say, the current problems with quick and the way it kind of goes with farming, it isn't really solved by making Scotty slightly stronger. If that were the case, they would literally just give Scotty a, uh, and like an upgrade of some kind to one of her skills. And if that would have fixed quick, it would have worked, but it doesn't. The reason is, is that there's not a lot of like units you can actually use with quick because it ends up being very costly to do anything because a lot of quick for some reason, they decided that Quick needed to get really nerfed when it came to MP gain. So you really need a unit that either, one, is able to increase their MP uh, gain by themselves, or two, has a way to get a lot of um, uh, MP gauge through skills, or three, they just deal so much hits it doesn't matter, and usually it's a combination of all three that makes the perfect kind of Quick um, unit for kind of doing anything. And this unit doesn't really fix any of that. All it does is introduce, is make a very certain style of quick servant better, which is the quick, quick servants that have two buster arts are now better under the Scotty. And that's kind of it. Um, it is nice that she has a little bit more quick, quick, because as you can see here, a double Scotty would kind of give um, 75%. So that would be in, a, in total, I think 150% combining the two, which is, pretty nice it's pretty decent it's not bad it would probably help some quick servants who just needed a little bit more damage to get their mp to 50 and once they hit the magic number which is at least 50 percent return on refund you're able to get a lot of stuff back but the fact that quick still has to struggle for 50 when buster doesn't have to struggle for any of that because they have a specific skill that lowers their cooldown and then they just have their skills and do stuff right there they don't have to worry about that at all Arts doesn't have to worry about NP gauge stuff at all, because it's for a lot of arts units, it's very easy to get 100% with double Castoria, even if you are only fighting a node 2. Maybe it's just specifically uh, Ryder Mo is able to do that, because I was able to do that for the current event in North America, and with certain nodes only had two casters and stuff like that. But either way, it's pretty simple to do stuff with Castoria, because NP gauge is not really an issue. And it lets you use a lot more CEs. While quick usually has to make sure you have to make sure you have kaleidoscope 
frame one. That's like the number one thing you need to make sure you have quick. And I don't know. This unit doesn't really specifically fix any of the issues that I have with quick. It just introduces a new way of um, kind of using quick with busters. And if you don't have a buster side unit, all she is is a better Scotty. And I don't know. I don't really think it changes anything. Um, the fact that she's kind of an AOE, AOE unit herself is interesting, but it doesn't really change much. It just makes it so that you have a chance of doing something, but it doesn't really mean much in the grand scheme of things, I think. So yeah, it was uh, in the beginning I was very disappointed in stuff like that, but over time I don't really think I've... I've come to terms with it, I guess, and now it's kind of now waiting for something else. I kind of hope in the two years time... Maybe they'll, there's a grander vision that I'm not seeing and they release another quick support of some kind. Or maybe a quick unit that works a little bit better. It really doesn't help that a lot of the units in here don't gel with quick in any sort of fashion. <laughs> so it doesn't really seem to make sense in a lot of cases because it's like, yeah, quick, new quick servant. But I feel like I, I feel like it's very similar to how I feel about Lady Avalon. Except for with Lady Avalon, I already knew Arth was in a perfectly good place when they introduced like a new kind of way to play along with them. With crit builds. With Quick, all they have is Scotty. And that's all they've had for a very long time. Two years going on now, so I don't know. There needs to be something more. So, a little bit still kind of on the disappointment side on that, but it is Scotty, so I'm going to still be trying for her in two years' time and hope that in that time... Either some amazing tech or a great CE comes out that kind of makes it up for stuff or some stuff is discovered which would be kind of awesome. And maybe in two years time when I talk about her again I'll be much happier and less disappointed about it. But for the, as it is right now, she just seems pretty okay because she's just Scotty a bit better. She's better than Scotty so she replaces that. Ver if you're someone who's into quick, she replaces that Scotty. <laughs> There's no reason to use that version of Scotty over this one, unless you care about the de specific defensive capabilities of Scotty. And I can tell you right now, I don't care about any of that, because Caster Scotty has maybe one of the worst NPs in the game. And that includes the NP- the only reason that it's not the worst is because there's act- because I think, um, the way that they've changed Jack the Ripper has actually made him worse. With his stupid skill buff that actually makes him not as good, <laughs> so... Not the worst NP, but it's definitely up there for me, at least. Just compared to what she is and compared to the other five star casters, it's nothing. It's literally nothing. So, yeah. That's how I specifically feel. I still like Scotty as a person. So, and looking at these ascensions, I definitely, like, how can you not want to pull that after seeing it? So, kind of just suck it up and be like, yeah, I'll get her and be happy. And look at all these fish. It's fantastic. Who doesn't love fish? But that's it, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I wish you the best of luck if you're actually summoning. If you have a specific thought, you can go ahead and tell me, and I'll listen to see what you got to say about that. But otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.